Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card is... What do people wonder about you? Apologies for the wind, guys. It's very, very windy today. But um, yeah, I d it's not going to be like, what are people thinking? What are, you know, how do people view you? It's like, what do people wonder about you? Like if people have met you and they go home and they think about you, like what is it that they wonder? Um, what do they think goes on in your world? What are they wondering about? That's what we're taking a look at today. So I have four crystals for you guys to choose from. Pile number one is the orange calcite. Pile number two is the red jasper. Pile three is the amethyst. And pile number four is the clear quartz. So see which crystal you're drawn to. As usual, the timestamps are going to be in the description box and I shall see you guys at your timestamps. Hey pal one, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what do people wonder about you. So you guys chose the orange calcite. I'm going to start with this deck, um, the tarot deck, and then we're going to move on to your oracle card. So let's get in. So pile number one, please for it guys. Oh god, pile number one. Um, what do people wonder about my pile number ones, please? What do people wonder about my pile number ones? What do people wonder about my pile number ones? Please, spirit guides, tap me into the collective of my pile number ones. What do people wonder? What do people wonder? Oh, once again, the cards have dropped on the floor. Three of Wands. What do people wonder about my pile number ones, please? King of Wands. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles. What do people wonder about my pile number ones, please, Spirit Guides? Oh, and the Princess of Pentacles as well. Interesting. Back of the deck, we have the Hanged One. Okay. Interesting because you've got two lots of wands and then two lots of pentacles. It's quite interesting. Let me just make sure you can see all of the cards. Can we see them? Yes. Okay, pile number one, please, spirit guides. What do people wonder about my pile number ones? Queen of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. I feel like there's almost this feeling from other people like I'm looking at you from afar. It almost feels like in the Little Mermaid, in the Little Mermaid when she sings part of your world. It's almost like you're out of reach. You're out of reach. Like you're. It it it's hard for me to get like a picture because it's almost like I can't. I keep feeling like I don't get it. Like there's question marks and it's like I don't I don't understand. Like I don't I don't get it. Like I feel like you've got so many faces and aspects to you that I feel like a lot of people it's almost like a wonder of like how does that even how does that part of them connect to this part of them like I'm seeing sports for example like some of you guys could be really good in like sports so you could like especially with sports it's very you have to compete you know what I mean so you have to like really push yourself you want to be number one you want to push like that that's the thing whereas Maybe some of you guys then, I mean, you know, you watch this channel, so you could be then connected to spirit. So you believe in like this oneness. So then it's like, how did those two things go together? How can you mix sport with your connection to spirit? Because it's almost like they're not, it, it, that's the thing, I'm getting confused. Like, I'm like, how does that work if you're doing that and then you have this? Or you could be somebody that, you know, creates a lot of financial abundance for yourself, but then you believe you know in the connection of spirit and then people are like how can you have both because it's like they don't understand the duality and i think that you have more than a duality i think you're very multifaceted so there's this feeling of like how can they do this and that or it could be that you're constantly shifting and changing and evolving so there's this feeling of how were they like this and then they were like this and now they're like that it doesn't like i don't get it i don't get it and i almost feel like the reason that there's a confusion is because there's an absence of you which makes me think that they're not around you to see all of those colors all of that beauty like when you go into a forest you don't just see one animal running around you see 
a multitude of animals and we never question why is there a deer and an ant in the same place this doesn't make sense we don't question that because it all conjoins together because we're there in the forest and we can see that there's more than what we were looking at so it's like there's this feeling from from people like I don't understand I don't get it I don't get it and I feel like sometimes your moves cause people to wonder because I feel like there's this feeling of why did they move that way like you could have how to explain it you could be someone that's very full of love and very full of like deep emotions whereas someone could have met you and they didn't see that part of you but why would they see that part of you they didn't show their deep emotions they didn't um you know sit and wait for you to feel comfortable to show those emotions they didn't nurture into you so why would they expect to see that so then it's almost like they may see you being very emotionally nurturing with someone else or like that on social media or they hear it through the great fan and they're like well they weren't like that with me so i don't get it so that th there's a then a question mark of like i don't it doesn't make sense like it doesn't make sense because there's a confusion that you have because it's almost like unless you're here with me and experiencing that with me you're not going to get it because i feel like especially your close friends i don't feel like they wonder too much because i feel like you'll almost say you know oh i've been um doing shadow work and gone into myself and i've been healing or i was traveling for a bit and i wanted to lose myself to find myself or i was really really just focused on work because i wanted to do this this and that and then people get it because they're like with you or they'll see you doing that because there's almost this feeling of the people that are closest to you they almost feel like an extension of you it feels very aquarian in the sense of like you're part of me you're my family like you're an extension of me so it's almost like you'll reveal those parts so those people will get it whereas people that haven't got too close it's almost like i don't understand or people that only ever got to see one aspect of you because it was the only aspect that you could relate to them when they see the other aspects it's like i don't understand um because it's almost like they're looking through you through their own filter and it's like you've got to take the filter off to get it you need to kind of come with me like you can't just go on a couple hours of a date and expect to see all of me like you're literally going to see a small bit if you want to get to know me and if you want to quote unquote get it you need to run into this forest with me and kind of see all of these colors with me and kind of let me take you on a bit of a ride like you kind of need that to get me um so that's where you leave a lot to the imagination and you leave a lot for to be kind of wondered about um because what i see with you guys as well is almost connections that almost felt like there was a barrier in front of them specifically relationships where they almost felt like there was a door shut or a barrier or they just couldn't get in very much to what i was saying the other day about um the charlie and the chocolate factory um analogy where it's almost like it, you know it, it's mysterious and then i go on and there's all those rooms but it's like as time goes on people are getting eliminated because they're not being they're not staying true or they're not respecting so they're getting um, eliminated and taken out so, you, so each of those characters are gonna have a different idea of what that whole chocolate factory is like because some of them only saw a tiny bit and some of them didn't even get in you know so it's it's that sort of thing so there's that feeling of people almost feeling like something was blocked like no entry because i keep being shown that so then it's there's a lot of wonder of what would have a what would a relationship with them have been like or it's almost like oh that person was just maybe quite quiet or that person was quite shy or that person was quite dry with me or that person was you know off with me and or maybe that person didn't like me but then it's almost like they're walking away and then they're hearing laughter or they're hearing singing or they're hearing whatever and they look and it's like they're seeing you dancing singing open doing whatever it is you do or being very emotional with someone or very nurturing with someone or speaking about things that are very deep to you and it's almost that's where the confusion comes in then because it's like i don't get it i don't get it i don't understand like i just don't get that and it's because you have like i said you have to walk and you know that saying is like you have to walk a mile in my shoes i feel like that fits you so perfectly because it's like otherwise people just wouldn't get it the girls that get it get it the girls that don't don't so there's a lot of stuck I have my own filters of perception and because I have such rigid filters of perception it's almost like I don't get it like there's such a strong question mark um three of wands king of wands because there's this feeling of what are you hiding because we have the king of wands here so I don't know if you have your own business or you work on something or you have your own sort of thing that you do like you could be someone that invents things and like creates things you could be a photographer or something like that so you have there's something that 
people see that you're interested in or it could be a multitude of things and I almost feel like people are like well why aren't you talking about that why aren't you showing me that why did you never show me that or it could be someone was friends with you for like a year and you never mentioned that you um usually travel you were just on you know you were just stopping by you know when you met that person you were friends with them so now you're traveling again and it's almost like I don't what why didn't why didn't they tell me about that why didn't they say this why didn't they say that and it's like why didn't you ask though like there's this feeling of that like it'll be revealed when it's time I'm not gonna tell you you feel like you may have like um there's this feeling of Mars in Scorpio Mars in Cancer uh and something's very practical here and I don't really need to say it so like maybe Mars in like an earth sign so like Mars in Taurus Mars in Capricorn uh Mars in Virgo it's like I don't I don't need to show you I'm just gonna do it I hope that makes sense it's like you're someone that really flows and that's why people are feeling stuck so it's like why didn't you tell me about that well it just didn't come up in conversation so then it's almost like but what else are they hiding what else are they up to what else is going on what else are they building what else is in this forest what else is in this chocolate factory that I don't know about like what's going on and then it's almost like people kind of overthink like because I see a lot of people then like who are they talking to right now what relationship are they in right now because maybe you don't because you don't reveal a lot it's like I'm not if I'm in a relationship I'm not going to tell you I'm just going to let you think what you need to think so there's a lot of question marks and making up a lot of different ideas because then it's like maybe you don't post your social your relationships on social media so people are like are they with someone are they not with someone why aren't they saying what's going on why aren't they um revealing that who could they be talking to let's go down the friends list let's go down the following list who could they be into like that what's going on or it could be yeah because i see people that it's almost like either people that were in relationships with you or dating you or seeing you it's like they never posted me on their social media or they never invited me or show me to people around them or their friends um so they could be doing that with other people right now and i wouldn't know because if they didn't post me they could not be posting somebody else who are they who are they talking to who are they interested in who are they speaking to because i keep hearing wasted times by the weekend when he sings um who do you belong to now who are you getting sprung for now so there's a feeling of that are they speaking with someone who are they talking to you may be someone as well that doesn't post too many pictures with friends so then there's like past friends going who are they friends with now they never really posted me but they're not really posting anyone else so like who are they friends with who are they around what's going on so there's there's that coming through as well um that's making people wonder you may have like your instagram account on private or your twitter account on private or your um facebook could be super private i don't know their settings on facebook i don't have it but you know that could be private i don't know about snapchat either i haven't had that in a long time so i i don't know about that but there's a lot of that and it's almost like people are waiting for information but it's information you just don't give you know it, it's like i'm in work and i'm around my colleagues and i'm ready to quit and leave and then people are like oh what are you gonna do what are you gonna do and it's like oh i don't know i don't know and you have an idea but you don't want to say it so you're just kind of acting like nonchalant like oh i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do and they're like oh okay and it's it's again it's like this question mark of oh uh, all right but then they look at you know social media they hear through the grapevine that you're in new zealand for example uh and you've taken like a job out there and they're like why didn't they say that why didn't they say that I've never even seen that side of them like I d what's going on so it's it's more question marks and it's like what goes on in your world so that's why I get the mermaid um little mermaid song like part of your world like what goes on because when I opened up to your reading it was like I was shown a beach and like lots of people at the sand and it's like you kind of going I'm going under and like okay I'll wait here and then you kind of just jump in and go under and then you come back up and then everybody has a million questions what's under that did you see any fish did you see any other people like how long could you hold your breath how deep did you go what did you see what did you feel was it cold and there's like a lot of questions so it's almost like little things that you do it's almost like people have questions for it i i hope this is making sense it's i'm finding it hard to get into it because i feel like that's what people feel when they wonder about you their mind goes in circles because it's like i don't know i don't know because there's this feeling of like people from the past that maybe you've outgrown or you've moved on from or you're just maybe not friends with or you know exes and stuff that you've kind of moved on from and there's this feeling of like when I was around them they were like this but now they're like that like there's an obvious switch up and it's like 
it could have been that you were dating someone but you were very in your masculine energy focus career goals like push 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 in and they almost felt like oh well they're very focused on that and maybe i don't fit in their world whereas now they're looking at you and you're someone that floats and you're somebody that's you know more about taking your time and you have a lot more free time so it's like what maybe now because there's this feeling of that maybe now maybe now that they're like that and then there's almost questions that i want to ask how did you get from that to that how does this bridge to this how does that happen what happened in between what was going on who were you talking to what and it's because i'm not getting anything so i have to i have a ton of questions and i really don't know the answer so it's like what's going on there it's almost like a um, you're here then you're not sort of thing it's really interesting and apologies if it doesn't make sense but it's just that rigidness of i don't know i don't know what's going on i don't know what's going on and I want to know, or you could be, again, because I'm looking at this King of King of Wands moving into the Queen of Pentacles, and it's almost like, how did you how did you build that? How did you work on that? And why didn't you tell me? When did you start doing that? When were you interested in that? You never told me you were good at, you know, art. You never told me you were a singer. You never sang for me before. Why not? Like, there's a lot of questions there. Why didn't you say this? Why didn't you say that? And it could have been, because I'm hearing what else can I do by um De not Dolores Isabella from Encanto and obviously she has to she feels stuck almost having to be perfect and play in like a role and then she kind of breaks free and she gets to be herself so who she was playing that role it, it's almost like you guys may have in the past felt like you had to conform to what people might have wanted from you um you may have dealt with people pleasing in the past um or you may have just felt like this is what people want to see of me um so people just saw those little parts of you whereas in actuality you didn't want to be growing all the rose petals and, and all the roses and being perfect you wanted to you know dye the dress red and blue and grow cactuses and vines or whatever like you wanted to do that so it's almost like people are looking and going oh so was that you or was that you and truth is both were but i think there's a lot of like one dimensional looking through one particular lens and not understanding you. And it's like, if you want to actually understand it, you need to really be in my world and you need to like kind of take those lenses off and you need to kind of like let go. There's almost a surrender, I feel, to kind of come into your world and see things differently because it's like, I feel you're very good at going into other people's worlds and fitting into other people's boxes and seeing them. But I think that sometimes you've struggled having people fit into your box and really see your world because there's almost this feeling of people having trouble surrendering and not feeling like there's more than what's outside that original box and I think that that's maybe stopped people from truly seeing you sometimes but there's this feeling from you guys of if it's meant to be it will be if you're meant to come into this world you will because I think that's going to help you then draw in people that are outside of all the boxes as well and able to see your world in that sense um i just think you're very multi-dimensional and a wonder and you're just very open minded and i think you just flow and i think the people that in your are in your life are like that which is really beautiful but i think people from the outside the rigidness i felt of like i don't get it i don't get it what are they what's going on it's almost like i'm having one broken tiny piece of a massive puzzle you know it's like when people ponder what life is about and what you know what the universe is and it's like everybody has their theories everybody connects and kind of understands but no one really knows that full truth like none of us do we're still all kind of just guessing or aligning with what we believe in that moment no one really has every single answer uh and it's almost like that with you guys to look at you in that way it's it's quite interesting um but i think pun people have i feel like people have come up with some crazy conspiracy theories i i really do i feel like if you've heard some things that people might have thought it's like what are you you're so cold like you're not warm at all you're so far from what that truth was <laughs> and i think do you know what i also see i feel like when you're going through deep moments or there's something really much deeper to the story people will wonder in a sense of something really small so it could be like um you were healing something super deep and you needed time to yourself and you were channeling information from spirit and you needed that time alone where somebody would just be like yeah well they just cut me off they just cut me off because they're rude and, and and they're mean and and that's what they did but you were going through so much whereas i feel like there's even moments where it's like oh i'm gonna go drive and get a cup of coffee and somebody's wondering like no they're not 
no they're not they're gonna go meet someone and then they're gonna do this and they're gonna do that all the while you're just sat in starbucks with your iced latte sipping it playing animal crossing on your nintendo switch and they're like yeah and they're gonna go meet someone and they're gonna do this and and it's like it, it's almost like people are always kind of far from what you were doing and i feel like a lot of you guys like it that way because i feel like the people closest to you they they get it it's like they click and flow into your life they get it they understand it it makes sense like they're flowing with you the wheels are turning for them too whereas on the outside it's just like it, it's trying to make two pieces fit that don't it's like i don't get it i don't understand you know it, it's kind of i feel confused i feel i, I don't know um, it wouldn't shock me if a bunch of people have gone psychics about you to try and pry. Because I feel like you don't reveal a lot as well. Especially to people you don't know. Yeah, especially to people you don't know. I feel like you don't reveal too much. Then people are like, hmm. Okay. Pile number one. What do people wonder about my pile number ones? What do people wonder about my power ones we have communion uh one more card from this deck please for guys pile number one what do people wonder what do people wonder the past yeah i feel like there's a lot do you know what it is i think a lot of people from your past have observed you over the years and watched you open up different sides of yourself or seeing you shift from one energy to another because there's a strong reference to like like I said Isabella from Encanto before she kind of wanted to be herself and became herself and then after so there's this feeling of like I've watched a flip of the switch or it's like it could just be you naturally just doing what human beings do grow and evolve in as you as you grow up finding new aspects of yourself healing parts of yourself and it's like they were never like that. They were never like that. No, they weren't. They grew into it. That's what happens. You know what I mean? So that, But it's almost like I'm seeing a lot of people rigid. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Because maybe they stay stuck in, in an energy or they want to stay in an energy, which is fine if you want to. But it, it, I just think you're constantly cutting the weeds back, letting new flowers bloom. And I think that's where it, it's like people are almost looking back and watching like, huh? Huh? I don't get it. But then there's like, what would it be like if I was friends with them now? Or what would they be like now? There's this feeling of like, what would happen if I bumped into them now? What would happen if I bumped into them? What would they say? What would they say if I bumped into them? What? How would they be? Would they be confident? Would they be open? Would they be shy? Would they be quiet? Like, what would they be like? I wonder what they're like now. I wonder how they are now. There's a lot of that. I wonder how it would be. And especially then in like relationships, because I felt that was more friendship. Whereas I feel like with like ex relationships and stuff, it's like it didn't work out then, but I bet it could work now because I like this now. And I didn't see that about them before, but now I see that. So I think I have a bigger picture now. So maybe it'll work out now. So there's that pondering of like, what if maybe it could work now? You know, creative spark. I like all of the nature coming through with the pentacles and then um, the creative spark here because it's like it's like you're planting seeds but people aren't seeing it growing but you know that it's growing and you you're not even telling them oh by the way this is going to be a forest so they're just seeing all of the mud and going okay okay so like what's going on oh mud oh okay and then it's like they're looking back and all of a sudden there's this massive tree growing lemons and they're like eh what they had mud there why didn't you tell me you were growing that tree why didn't you say that but i feel like that's them protected you because then they could have just stayed because there was a tree growing they could have stayed because they like lemons but you didn't say it so it was almost like they walked away and they're like oh but then it's like no entry like i can't get in and i don't get it now and now there's this big forest and now they've got all these animals and now there's all of this and it's like oh didn't see that didn't see that okay so that's do you get what i mean like that's where it's coming from it's like i think it's protected you And do you want to know another thing that people wonder about? I feel like there's some people as well with a little bit of guilt because I feel like because there's room with you guys for proje um, projection, I think that maybe you've moved in ways where maybe you've needed a bit of space or you've needed room to grow and people might not have let you or people have maybe got you down for that or people have felt like you were cutting them off. There is a little bit of guilt of like, oh, they didn't mean 
they were just trying to take some time off. like it's other people growing and seeing it differently as well of like maybe they just needed some time to themselves and I was really pushing oh I get it now maybe I shouldn't have done that or maybe they weren't as bad as what I was saying they were because maybe they just would you know maybe they were just going through it maybe they needed time to themselves oh so that's another thing coming through um and also I'm seeing again people from the past and it's like you know someone could have wrote you off straight away it's like oh that person's shy that person's shy or oh, that person didn't like me or oh, that person was just quite quiet I don't know I don't know about it and then it just kind of fell through whereas it's almost like they're pondering looking back and going that person wasn't shy they just weren't comfortable yet that person wasn't actually being rude they just didn't we hadn't kind of clicked yet so there's a lot of pondering over the more people ponder and see other parts of you it's like oh maybe they were like that because they're getting a different picture and they're like oh maybe they meant this or maybe they meant it like that so there's a lot of that then that goes on where people are like oh i get it now because then there's this sheepish feeling of like i shouldn't have done that or i shouldn't have said that to them or i shouldn't have projected that onto them and realizing that that was kind of a projection so i do see some people doing that as well pile number because i see other people with that same depth or that same multi-dimensionalness i i see them almost like acknowledging that in you straight away it's like oh yeah there's more to that person because i'm exactly the same and that person's just that person isn't just walking around in mud for no reason they're obviously planting something otherwise why would they be there so it's almost like then they'll ask those questions and be like, oh, are you planting? I've been planting year too. Like, it's that sort of thing. So that's when the people come into your life then because it's they just, it flows. It's an energy thing. It just clicks because they just see you, you know? Um, we have Green Tower, the Buddha of enlightened action. My soul informs my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. See, I feel like you move with your intuition. You move with your heart space. You listen and you let that guide you. You don't need to say it out loud. So then people are just like, why are they walking around, you know, in this forest and there's, well, in this field and there's no forest there yet. I don't get it. But like, you're following your intuition. You don't need to tell people because it's not their journey. So you're just planting the seeds. And they're like, okay. I don't get that though so in a normal sense like you could just be quitting that job and people are like I don't get it but you're listening to your intuition but because it hasn't it, you know the fruits haven't been bad yet like they haven't come out yet you're not going to say it yet so you're just going to let people think whatever because they can't intuitively see what you're up to and then it's like oh that's what they why didn't they say that and it's like why would I say that you know what I mean like why would I say that why am I going to like let everyone know I don't understand why I would do that sort of thing so that's another thing um pile number one what do people wonder about my power ones oh you've got an extra card i hope i was able to explain it properly because it felt rigid um like i i just don't get it i just don't get it, it i felt the frustration we have sekhmet the red lady i am pure strength i honor my anger by giving voice to it and then we have Rabia. I'm in service of divine love. I move the way love asks me to move. See, you could be someone that just moves in a different way in the sense that people might think, oh, well, they, you know, maybe they want, ah, this is the thing. I see people stepping towards you and thinking, oh, they would like me to see, they would like this from me. So you may be someone that's not very materialistic and then they're almost like showing you their materials and it's almost like intuitively it's like I don't this doesn't this is causing kind of friction because I just don't get it I don't understand like and I see you looking at people and going there's so much more to you why are you just showing off these things like oh there's so much more to you why are you not revealing those parts of yourself like because it's almost like you see people and sometimes people don't see themselves so there's parts of people's selves that they might not want to embody whereas you can see and it's like why aren't you embodying that i don't understand and that's you then looking at them and it's almost like they're showing you these things that you really couldn't care less about and it's like if i'm going to connect with you i want to connect with you because 
I can see that you actually have a really beautiful heart. You're covering it up, but you do have it. And you're almost waiting for them to reveal that and then they're not. And then you're like, oh, okay. And then they're going, I don't get it. They weren't interested. They didn't like any of the things I was showing them. And it's like, yeah, because that's not what they were there for. Like, that's not why they were interested in you in the first place. Why are you, you know what I mean? So it's almost like they're showing you their protective you know look at the medals i have on this cloak and it's like take the cloak off you know what i mean take the cloak off because once we can speak order i can take mine off and we can bond like that but you keep showing me all of these medals and i'm not here for them because i want to see you not what you have and all of that so then it's like people are almost stepping towards you on the outside going and this is like outside of your friendship circles going Show me this, show me that, show me the car you drive, show me this, show me the job that you have, show me, show me the lemons on the tree, show me all of your fruits. And you're just like standing there like, no. <laughs> and they're all being planted and it could even be that there's a big wall and they're behind the wall and you're like, I'm just by this wall. And they're like, oh, 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 well, they're not playing ball. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, okay. I'm walking away. But behind this wall, you have all of these fruits. But like I said, it's almost protecting you. From people just taking all the fruits otherwise they're just coming in for the fruits so i think that's really protected you and that's what i'm getting with the i'm in service of divine love and um you know i am pure strength it's like there's so much to you that almost a lot of people don't see and i, I think that you purposely do it that way of like you don't you don't need to know those sides of me because i don't trust you yet um, and then we have Mary of Nazareth. I am blessed by courage. My courage gives birth to the divine. So there's a lot of emphasis in these cards on the heart space as well. Um, and there's a lot of flowers here. Like we have the flower here. We had the flower at the back of this deck. We had the lotus here on the hanged man. And then we have all the flowers here. It's like there's so much more to you um, that I think that you hide. And that's why going into this reading, I felt a resistance in other people's energy that don't know you all too well because it's like there's a really big question mark of I don't get it I don't understand um I feel like I'm pushed out or I'm look on the outside looking in and I just don't understand so I think that you're someone that people can make up some conspiracies about because they might just not get you or get why you do certain things um but there's almost this feeling of people from the past going oh 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 and having things revealed um you're the type of person I feel to not talk about things that you're up to or projects you're working on or business ideas you're working on. They'll see the finished results. Um, so while you're in the process, I think you're quite protected. And I think people um, are almost expecting you to tell them and boast and you're not going to do that. And I quite like that. It's quite interesting. Really interesting because it allows people that see your depth to kind of gain access naturally because you see that they see you which is really lovely um so pal one that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal two welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what do people wonder about you so i'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move on to your oracle cards straight away when i came into this reading particularly i almost found myself in an energy where you know when you were younger and you'd watch like a tv show and there was someone that kind of had everything that they wanted or someone that was very attractive or someone that you know, wore really cool outfits like i used to wear this i used to wear i can't speak today i don't know why i used to watch disney channel a lot when i was younger and i used to love like london tipton sharpe from high school musical raven from that's so raven because she used to style her outfits and she was always really well dressed so there's this almost feeling with you guys and the reason i'm being put in that energy when i'm reading for you guys is i think what people may wonder about you may be very down to things that you wear the way that you dress maybe the way that you speak and present yourself i feel like you're my pile that presents themselves like that you're either just very naturally attractive or you may have a certain like aesthetic that you follow you could be very into style and be very fashionable um 
there's a feeling of that but then it's also like some of you guys may have quite a rich social media life in the sense of you may post a lot um you could vlog you could be on tiktok a lot because there's almost this feeling of whether it's you do that for korea or whether you just do that because it's your lifestyle um there's little things like that that people kind of wonder about you because i see a lot of people like where did they get them clothes from you know where um how do they do their makeup like that what, you know what restaurants are they going to what friends do they have and there's a lot of wondering around that and that sort of your kind of lifestyle it could just be again you could have your career online and people are like where do they get this from how do they know that where did they learn this from but there's a lot of emphasis on how you look or how you're displaying yourself and a lot of questioning about that um what you're up to in everyday life where did you get those shoes from how do you know how to style certain things uh a lot of that i feel uh straight away but we're gonna get deeper so pile number two please for guys what do people wonder about my pile number twos what do people wonder about my pile number twos i don't think that you get because i feel really inspired by you uh like there's nothing really negative coming out at all i i feel very inspired it's almost like you're motivating me and because you're motivating me i'm wondering because again it's like <laughs> when i was younger and i used to watch the sweet life of zach and cordy london tipton she was very rich and she had this dog and all i wanted was a dog like that so i couldn't walk around like her like i was very inspired by that and i remember she had in one episode these like leopard print pajamas and i saw like a, you know a cheaper version in a store and i was like please can i have these for my birthday because i just i just was inspired by that and i keep being put in that energy because i feel like you do inspire people in that kind of way um five of wands okay pile number two what do people wonder about my pile number twos what do people wonder about my pile twos? We have the chariot. What do people wonder about my pile number twos? Oh god, that was too many cards. Some of you guys may sing or do music. What do people wonder about my pile number twos? I think that, and I know it's not like me reading your energy, but when I tap into you, I think that you're very authentic. And I think that you have a really good eye for detail. And I think you have a good eye for like style, colors, things like that. It's just your knack. Like, I think it's just something you're really good at. And I think that um, you have a very forward thinking approach, like a very Aquarian thinking approach to things, whether it's you know the way you design your home the way you design parts of you know your work that may be online the way you may post on social media the way that you may vlog the way that you may just put outfits together and walk down the street it, it's a very forward thinking like you almost think outside the box so i see people almost like how do i do that how do i do that how do i do something unique like that how do i and that's where the wondering comes in because it's like you know what magazines do they do they read to get that sort of style or what makeup are they using to get that and it's like um yeah there's a lot of that and it's, it's almost like motivating me to like look at my surroundings and revamp and think outside of the box or if like i see you doing your career and it, it, there's this feeling of like i need to mix up my career like them i need to change what i'm doing like them or someone could see that you know the way you assert yourself and speak and it's like i need to be more like that i need to do that so there's a lot of motivation that you bring to people but i also feel like sometimes people kind of live through you i have to say that because again i felt like some of you guys some, somebody just had something sugary i could taste on my tongue i just got this wave of sugar on my tongue um you know when you have strawberries and you like dip it in sugar i just got something like that like a sherbet or something i don't know um but it could be like cinnamon as well but um, I feel like people live through you in the sense of, like, it's almost like a mood booster. Like, I'm I'm looking at someone and they, they're going to this restaurant and, you know, you may have a lot of friends or you may just, like, make the best of your life in that way. And I'm watching it, but I don't, I'm not doing that in my everyday life. So it's almost like I'm living through you and kind of escaping through you in a way. So you may get people 
like you could be like an influencer or something but i almost see people scrolling through your social media and looking at things and being like oh that's cool that's cool that's interesting that's cool uh which is is nice i feel like it, it's lovely and i know sometimes with that energy you may get people that may mimic you sometimes but i feel like for the most part there's a lot of at least where you are currently like i feel your i don't know whether you're just doing really good and protecting yourself or your energy is just very high because i just feel like whoever's in your energy field now looking at whatever seeing you about i feel really good like there's this inspired feeling that people are almost looking up to you in a way um, and wondering about you in kind of good ways and I almost feel like you're really inspiring people to like change things in their life you could be somebody that's going to the gym all the time so it's like oh I want to start doing the gym um, and start doing that I wonder what routines they do I wonder where they got that gym outfit from so it's like you're inspiring people and I feel really good about it it's like you know it, it, it's really good because it's like you're reflecting that light back in turn it's inspiring people and then that light's being reflected back to you which is really really good I feel like it's not always been that way but I feel like that's where you're at now which feels really lovely um you feel very radiant so then there's maybe even pondering and wondering how do they get from this to that how you know they used to be a lot more quiet how are they this loud now are they used to really cover up and now they're making the most of you know outfits that they're wearing or they just they haven't really changed anything about their appearance but they are more in you know i'm seeing them more it's like they're showing up more and i don't really see that anything's really changed it's just like an energy thing so then there's wondering like what's going on like what you know what what are they what are they up to like what are they cooking and then there's this like are they doing you know spirit work are they doing like you know work on themselves like that like what's going on so there's there's that sort of question because I feel like it's like the secret sauce like how did you do that I want to do that sort of thing so that's where the wondering comes in let me just get the other card because I haven't even looked at these cards yet I will now it's just I think that you guys are class sentient because I almost feel like I'm able to like tap into that and I, I work a lot clairsentiently so it's I almost feel like I'm bouncing off you in that way so you guys may be clairsentient too because it's just this feeling of like I don't really need to read or read the cards it's just princess of cups okay um on the back of the deck you guys have the five of cups okay what are people wondering let's take a look at the cards now five of wands the chariot seven of cups princess of cups yeah it's it's like i'm because i'm hearing the aluna george song i'm in control especially when i look at the chariot um the chariot card there's this feeling of someone looking at you then looking at where they're at and feeling like super motivated but then they're looking around at their like, let's just say you have really good home interior and you post that online. This is just an example. And you have, like, the best home interior. Like, it, it all works well. It, it's nice. It's put together. And then someone's, like, really inspired by that. And then they're looking around at their home and they're, like, not happy with what, you know, their home looks like. And then they're like, you know what? This has motivated me to change my room so you you're already inspiring them there so that's when the questions come in i wonder where they got that couch from i wonder where they got that lampshade from i wonder where they got that wall i wonder what the color that wallpaper you know is and then it's almost like through you i'm learning to tap into what i like because it could be that like you know you're going for a color scheme that suits you so for example you may suit uh blue um you know you may be like very oceany so then they're like well what do I like then what do I like do I like you know the earth shall I do mine green shall I do mine uh yellow shall I do mine purple so it's like and that's what they're wondering because it's almost like I'm watching you and how you're tailoring things to you so I think I should tailor things to and it's it's that's how it's happening um but there's a lot of wondering, like, where do they get this from? Where, how do they become this confident? You know, what did they watch? I almost see, like, people almost seeing what you're liking on social media and then liking, like, following it too so they can be inspired by the same thing. Or people could just see you walking down the street 
and there may be like a certain way that you approach people it's like i'm gonna start doing that i'm gonna start doing that so there's a lot of that i feel like you're really kind of motivating people in that way um you could be somebody that's very bold and out there and very confident and just speak your mind so then there's this feeling of like i'm gonna start doing that i'm gonna start speaking my mind i'm gonna you know do those things somebody you know you, you could be riding like a, a bmx like a bike or something through your hometown and then somebody's looking at it and going i'm gonna start doing that i want so th that's where it's coming from so it's like well, i wonder where they got that from i wonder how they started doing that i wonder where that came from and then that's where that wondering part is coming from um and especially in regards to like work and career as well it's like especially if you have your work and career online or people know about it so there's people in your home time like witnessing you do it there's this kind of feeling of like how do they have this knowledge how do they have that knowledge like you could have like an organic fruit and veg shop right so it's like you may have a lot of knowledge on that and there's like pondering like how do they know this how do they know that what books do they read where did they get that knowledge from it could be in regards to you know spirituality and you could have done a lot of inner work and then people are like how would you know this how do you don't know that you know so it's it's that sort of wonder and so there's a lot of that i feel like people see you as it's almost like you're enriching and i feel like it's at a point for you guys where it's, people are genuinely the people that are around you are seeing you are feeling very inspired by that and wanting to kind of do that in their own life which is really really lovely i really like the energy of this um like i guess i don't know why it's coming through but i keep thinking of the barbie movie <laughs> you know that sort of aesthetic and it's not that like you'd have that aesthetic it's just when you think of like the quote-unquote barbie world and every kid are like at least i did i wanted to be in like a barbie world and i wanted the barbie car and all of that can you imagine living in that world especially when you're young like that would have been fun i think so anyway so i'm being put in that energy not because you're walking around and it's like barbie world but it's like your world you know it's my pile two's world well that whatever that is you know um whether it's just the gym you know and you, you guys just working out in the gym and people seeing you there or um you know like i said uh the spiritual side of things or the business side of things or just you in general and things that you are it's like oh i'm really you know that's their world i'm inspired by it i i kind of want that vibe you know what i mean like i want i kind of want that um which is really really interesting because with the seven of cups then going into the princess of cups there's just this feeling of what would they do what would they do i wonder what they do and i almost feel like especially if you're because i keep being taken to social media so i feel like a lot of you guys do if you don't have social media don't worry it could just be people seeing you around but for those of you that do and i feel like that's a majority of you watching this um i do see a lot of screenshots and where do they get this from where do they get that from um you know where did they get that uh i'm trying to think of like a career thing that i can kind of align it with where do they get them books from and where can i get it or again it's like whole material let me screenshot that and do that it, there's a lot of that really really people feeling very inspired and with the five of cups here it's like that's why i felt like people are almost living through you a little bit because it's like these three cups have just fallen but it's like these two cups with a rainbow up here and it's like all of that color and alchemizing so they're kind of seeing you as that boost of like inspiration you're probably that pile where i always say you would be really good influencers or really good at like starting businesses or creating things like jewelry and things um you'd be really good at doing it i just think you've got that knack you've got that flair it's just something that you'd be good at i've said that in a few readings you've probably been from that same pile um i just think you have that ability within you to ignite people's light within themselves because when we are inspired by people and we align with that it's because we have that within us and i feel like you're almost shining that light on people like you can do this too you can do this too which is really really lovely i really like this energy it's it's really a lovely energy um i just put lotion on my hands and now i'm itching so i think it might have been a bit too uh strong for me I don't know why I'm telling you. It just my hands just itching. So if you see red, that's what it is. I'm gonna go wash it in a sec. So pile. No, oh wait, wrong cards. Pile number two, please. Pile number. I just think you make the most of either your life, your creative outlets, or just the way that you dress, look, design. You know, outfits, put outfits together, or again, your home 
interior it's not my home interior just whatever that is or just the aesthetic you know like I, it's just that sort of thing I think that you 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 have a way of you know making things like it reminds me of my friend Sam like he'll take a photo and he'll align it right that the sky looks good and the rocks are, and everything just looks so unique and just it, it looks so different and I'm like wow you have a really good eye for that um you just you're like that you know so it's like what angles are they using you know what what flash um do they use do they have a ring light do they have this it, it's that sort of thing so there's a lot of a lot of that coming oh coming in what card have we got we have wise leadership and it's funny that the four and the one add up to five <coughs> and that reminds me of the fifth house um which is leo energy uh very interesting and obviously she's holding the heart so strong leo energy here and wise leadership you have that kind of leadership spotlight energy you know you have that you may be like a fire rising you don't have to be um but you just have that kind of leadership energy but there's something very unique about the way that you that you move if that makes sense pile number two beauty i'm not shocked beauty has come through because like i said i feel like you guys are very naturally attractive or you have a way of bringing beauty out of things um a mirror in that out i think you have a really good way of doing that and it could be in the simplest thing like you could be like i literally just post photos of flowers on my uh facebook or my instagram i have like a floral business i literally just make flowers but like you have a way of doing it that it just looks beautiful it looks put together it, it looks nice you just have a way of doing it i can't even explain it any deeper than that it's just your way of doing it it's beautiful like you just have you know it, it could be very venusian you could have a lot of taurus and libra in your chart um because yeah i definitely taurus and libra because there's just this especially libra like i just think everything there's this fanciful feeling like everything that you do you're able to make it look fun or make it look interesting you have a way of doing that like you didn't just post that instagram story you had a way of doing it that just made it look exciting you know you have a you have an eye for that um and of course it's number six which is venus ruled um numerology so that's not shocked me and again she's got the blue over her eyes so you guys may have a certain way of doing makeup if you wear makeup um or you may have certain tattoos and there's just they're just interesting like i just feel like everything you do it's just like oh there's like a stamp to it it's like when i say celebrities and they have that it factor i just think you have that so there's a lot of wonder and where did they go to get that tattoo when did they get interested in that sort of thing it's it's that's another thing i'm picking up and then we have humor so i think what people wonder about you is very light-hearted and it may come across to them as light-hearted but i think it has a very deep um deep-rooted feel to it like when the sun is shining we feel very light-hearted and we feel very good but we don't understand the depth of that like we're taking in light cords it's activating us it's making us you know feel good it's activating the flowers we don't realize the depth beneath and i feel like it's almost that feeling of like see you know when the sun's that you just feel better it's almost like that it's like i i feel activated now by watching what you're doing or looking at your website i feel like you've just activated that creation within me or you've just activated that feel good feeling within me or you've just motivated me to do that so it's almost then like i'm the flower blooming because you've just done that and that's where the wondering then comes in because it's like how how what you know how do i feel like that how do i do that and another five here um which is uh i was taken to the fifth house energy that's why i'm mentioning it so let's pull two final cards pile number twos what do people wonder about oh goodness what do people wonder about my pile at number two so we have the mother of believers I'm spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. Yeah, it's like you're connected to your own inner source, your own energy, your own energy. So you're connected to that. You're almost fueling yourself, which is why there's that flair and that charismatic feel and that, that light that's coming through. Um, and I think that's why people are drawn to it because we all have that light within us. And then it's like, you're one, the closer I get, it's like you're activating me to open up to mine which is really lovely but I feel like at first it starts with 
where do they get that from how do they start that what editing tools are they using for their website what are they you know it's that sort of thing where do they get those plants from where do they get the couch from where do they get those shoes from it, it starts like that and then it's just that motivation you know it's really lovely pile number two oh, that popped out easy the mystic of divine love love is divine i am nothing except love <laughs> It's your purity as well. I think that you're super authentic and maybe things that you share or the energy that you put into your career, it's super authentic to you and it's designed that way that people relate to it. And I, that's something that I'm really um, picking up. I think the more authentic you are with the way that you dress, the more authentic you are with the way that you approach life, the way uh, the more authentic you are with the way that you... Um, you know apply yourself to like your career or you speak out and you talk to people I feel like that's where people start to get that you know motivated from you yeah on the back of the deck we have the morning star my ego is in service of my soul and I trust my soul's divine timing so again the stars are like you know the sun is a star um so that's not shock me it's like shining up it's like inspiring me sort of thing which is really really lovely i really like this pile too i think you have a really beautiful you're like that you know that pile i always get like the sun energy the activating energy you might be that pile um yeah you have a great energy and i think you inspire a lot of people and that's why people wonder about you a lot um wouldn't shock me if you're on a couple of people's mood boards especially if you're highly on social media or you you know if you use socials to promote yourself it wouldn't shock me if you're on people's mood boards to be fair uh, really interesting so pal two that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed the reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal three welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what do people wonder about you so you guys chose the amethyst crystal i'm gonna start with tarot and then we're gonna move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number three please spirit guides tap me into the collective of my pile number threes tap me into the collective of my pile number threes what do people wonder about my pile number threes Oh God, the cards are jumping out of my hands. Hang on. What do people wonder about my pile number threes? I keep, it's like I'm wanting to understand your brain. You know, when you see that meme of that guy and there's like loads of equations over his head and he's like in deep thought, I'm almost being shown that meme. Like I feel like people almost do backflips trying to understand your brain. Or like, what goes on up there? Like where do they get these answers from like people could ask you things and you have really deep answers or like an answer where it's almost like you're asking them a question back and then it has them wondering about just life in general and they're like what you know what goes on how do they, what are they i and i feel like i'm i'm finding it hard then to kind of it, it's like i'm analyzing you and i almost feel like i'm i'm thinking to myself I think they can read my body language. I think they know. Like, people may know you're psychic. Because you guys chose the amethyst. Because there's this feeling of, like, I think they're reading me. I think they know I'm lying. I think they know I'm psychic. I think they know this. I think they know that. So there's a lot of wonder in there. So you guys may be openly psychic. Because it's like, I almost feel like someone's saying something, but they may be hiding something. And it's like, they know. They know that I sold that cookie back in... 2012 they know i did it like they know so it's that sort of thing um apologies for the rain guys it's pretty chucking it down so i hope it's not uh doing the audio but but yeah there's a lot of that i feel like you make people wonder and, and it's also wondering like what do they know what do they know you know what what do they know let me get into it pile number three what do people wonder about my pile number threes what do people wonder about my pile number threes? I know that this isn't about how do people perceive you, but the vibes I'm getting is like, you know, when you watch Caroline and Caroline just lives in her own little world and she's just looking at things very deep and she's on a little bit of a journey, even though it is just in her home. It's almost like that. I almost feel like I'm viewing that and it's like, oh, because I'm hearing the Caroline music um, from the movie. So it's almost like, what's going in? Like, there's this just deep feel that I get from you guys. Pile number three. 
and if it's confirmation and i've said it to you before so confirmation that it's your pile i'm being shown the egyptian pyramids and the crows which i usually get with my like pile that is super connected to spirit like super like clairvoyant that sort of thing i'm getting that come through so i feel like i think that was more so confirmation if i've said it before but i just think that you guys are really there's an intensity to you that people wonder about pile number three what do people wonder about my pile number threes three of wands pile number three I hope the rain outside is, is as relaxing for you as it is for me. Eight of Pentacles. What do people wonder about my pile number threes? The Hermit. Yeah. One more card. What do people wonder? Ooh. Two of Pentacles. And four of Swords at the back of the deck. Do you see with the two of pentacles it's like up on the surface and then below it's got that whole like kind of like night sky below um that hasn't shocked me that that's come through because i almost feel like people already know just energy wise that what they're seeing from you is a tip of the iceberg people know that there's a lot of depth um people know that there's a lot more to it people know that you might not be revealing all that much it could just be because you would rather observe or you just keep a lot of things close to your chest but you're felt so there's this wondering like what do they do for fun what do they do you know how do they get these ideas when they you know i feel like if you do work with spirit there's almost this feeling of like how do they do it how do they how do they do that how does that work what goes on who do they speak to what practice do they do there's a lot of that um but there's also just this strong feeling of like what are they reading me right now? How do they actually feel about me? You know, can they tell that I'm nervous right now? Can they tell that I'm anxious right now? And it's reminding me, because the, the intensity that I'm getting from you guys, it's reminding me of Isis. If you've ever worked with her, goddess Isis. Um, when I tap into her, she has such an intensity, but it's, it, whenever you tap into anyone's energy, it's different, but you remind me of her and, and the energy that I get when I connect with her because she's got these eyes that are so deep and just coming into her energy, it's it's sometimes daunting because it's like she, you know she's got so much power and she knows so much, there's so much wisdom there um, that you have to respect, but there's that intensity because you almost feel naked in front of her. Whereas if you were to connect with someone like Sekhmet, there's this fierce heart space energy. There's this fierce warm energy and it's a different sort of thing. Um, and I feel like you have that goddess Isis intensity um, very in tune with everything. And I think that that's where there's a lot of wondering with you guys of like, how are they like that? What and I almost feel like I'm turning inward then and going, what, what, you know, what are they seeing that I'm not seeing? What, what do they know that I don't like? And there's almost this fear of like, if you do work with spirit of like what if they tell me something i don't like what if there's something around me that i don't like and there's that fear that's coming through um that i think people might like wonder about like what if they say this what if they say that uh that's another thing i keep being shown caroline walking through the house and like on a little bit of a journey so it's almost like i'm observing that and i'm like what are they getting up to what do they go at night what are they you know what are they what do they do in their spare time? It's like, what do they do in their own little world? So there's a lot of wondering about that. You may be somebody that spends a lot of time on your own. Um, Cause I see someone like reading books or um, it could just be just sitting there meditating and connecting to spirit. And there's this feeling of like, what do they read? Where are they getting this knowledge from? What are they, where are they getting this depth from? What have they read to get here? What exams did they pass to get here there's a lot of that because i almost i'm feeling like i'm looking at you like you're very intelligent so there's this feeling of where did they learn that who told them that because you may just literally speak about things from like directly from spirit and just channel things and then a lot of people are like where are they reading this where did they get this from and it you didn't maybe even pick it up from a book or you didn't even um learn it from somebody else you just channeled it but there's a wondering of like where did they get it from how do they know that what exams did they pass what course did they take how did they do that because there's that pondering but we've got the hermit card here so it's like 
you're going inward to find that information if that makes sense so there's a lot of that and on top of that I just feel I feel like if I spoke to you you'd have me walking away with a different outlook of life so then it's almost like you have me wonder about other things. So it's like, I come to you with one idea of life. We've just had a conversation. You've planted seeds. So as I walk away, I'm now wondering about these seeds you've planted and they're growing inside of me. So you could tell me about the inner world and Agatha, and I've never heard of it before, but you've planted that seed and it's growing inside me. So when I go home and I'm wondering, I'm wondering about that and I want to know more about it. So I'm researching it and I'm finding books about it and I'm finding YouTube videos about it and I'm finding podcasts about it and I'm trying to understand that because I want to get what you're on about um or you could and it doesn't have to just be that it could be because there's, there's depth to something so it could even be like just literal facts about life that I've just never heard before and you're very well embarrassed in it like you know a lot about it but you've planted the seed so what I'm wondering about when I go home thanks to our chat there is you know what you told me about uh I'm trying to think of like a historical event I, I don't know why my mind's gone back world war one I, I don't know that's just an easy one that came out so I'm going home and I'm wondering about it and I want to know about this now and it's it's almost growing so I almost feel like you plant seeds through conversation if people have those deeper conversations and then it grows which is really beautiful because I think that that's where you're adding value to people, which is really interesting. Whereas people that might not want to go that deep or might not entertain a conversation like that, I see people like walking away and wondering like, where are they getting these things from? How do they know this? Where do they get that from? And then I see a fidgety feel of, they were reading me then, they were reading me, they were tapping into me then, they, uh, they knew that I was nervous then, or they were really, because I feel like you either have an intense stare or you may read body language because I almost feel like I'm tailoring my body language like let me uncross my arms because then I'll appear more confident because I don't know whether you guys speak about knowing how to read body language or it's just that feel they might feel used to just seeing that so there's that kind of like exposed feel that I get where I'm like let me just shake it up and just start you know uh doing the like Irish jig with my legs because then they won't know that I'm you know and it's like I'm moving my legs to kind of um throw you off guard so there's that sort of wondering as well which is almost a bit funny in that way but there's there's a curious feel about you guys it's like watching Alice go into Wonderland it's like I'm kind of just watching and wondering what really is down that rabbit hole and I'm kind of just watching you walk through and I'm it's almost like I'm observing you see the depth and something's like where did you get that from like how did you know that like you could just be walking through a forest with someone and just be like did you know that um uh let me just think of I'm just trying to think of something I don't know why my mind's going blank um I don't know you could like find a random tree or like a random leaf and it's like did you know this helps heal this or this helps clear this and they're like how did you know that or how would you even spot that how would you even be aware of that or you could be around people and somebody could be lying and no one realizes and then you turn to someone and go they're lying because they did this they did this and then they did this and it's like how would you spot that how would you know, you know what I mean and then there's that wondering like how are they so good at this what is going on here like how are they so good at that it's there's a lot of that and I think you know when at, at night you usually have those really deep thoughts and you think deep I think that's when people will wonder about you because it's like remember what they said about this I wonder if it's true I wonder how that works and it's that's where the seed starts to bloom a little bit things it's like oh I wonder how that you know goes I wonder how that works um or that post that they wrote on Facebook the other day um now that I'm thinking about it that made a lot of sense actually that made a lot of sense that actually is really interesting maybe I need to look into that and that's where because it's almost like sometimes when you say something or you may post something or you voice something the seeds planted but they don't feel it in the second and then a couple of days later they'll just be laying in bed and then it'll just sprout out and they're like oh wait I get it that makes a lot of sense that they're really clever they're really intelligent where did they get that from 
How do they know that? I wonder what books they read. How did they do that? I wonder what they're doing now. So that's how it goes and it almost spirals um, like that. So let's pull some oracle cards for you guys. People know you have that rich inner world and that's what I think people wonder about what really goes on. They know that they're seeing a tip of the iceberg. So it's like, what happens beneath that? How does it all work? Let me understand your brain. How did you get to that? It's reminding me of like when I was in maths and I was not good at maths at all. And I sat next to someone, funnily enough, who was really good at maths. And he'd almost write like the equation down and get this answer and it was right. And it's like, I understand... I kind of understand what you're up to and I understand like how you got there but I also have no idea how you got there <laughs> because how did you even know to add and then they're adding in decimal points and I'm like where did that even come in where did you get the decimal point from? how did that happen and it would send me really confused and that's the energy I'm being put in so sorry if I'm going on in circles but I feel like that's what people do with when they're wondering where you're getting information and stuff from it's like where did the decimal point come in why are we adding in letters to numbers why are they conjoining together like how did you get this and that's where the, the wondering comes in because it's like eh? like how do i how do i do this equation it doesn't make any sense to me um but with the you know the owl here it's like and again with the mountains in the background they're made of ice and um, when you think of ice, there's a lot frozen in ice that's like um, hidden knowledge, if that makes sense. Like when we uncover things from ice, there's things frozen there from a really long time ago. I'm sure there's like um, like woolly mammoths and stuff like frozen in time. So it's when you think of even like animals and stuff from like the ice age and stuff, that wisdom that they hold, uh, there's so much there, but it's kind of hidden. And I feel like you're tapped into that naturally do you know what i mean so it's that's where the curious parts come from because it's like when we as human beings try to understand where we came from or what was before us when we find a breakthrough in it we you know are really analyzing it and trying to understand it and it can change the whole way we look at like history so i almost feel like you have that same flair on people when they wonder about you you you're able to do that which is quite interesting. I hope that made sense. Um, you're like that hidden mammoth tusk at the bottom of the ice that it's like, oh my God, like new find. And then it's like, where did this come from? What does this mean? How does it, you know, how is it here? It's that sort of thing. But I feel like you're tapped into that sort of consciousness with the hermit on the icy mountains and then the owl here, which is you know that wisdom it's like ancient wisdom whenever i see anything connected to ice it's what i get taken to pile number three <laughs> secrets <laughs> you guys have secrets <laughs> oh my god that's not shocked me at all <laughs> and then you have death and magic you have death and magic and secrets i can't even make this up guys look at that secrets and death and magic People are like, what sorcery are they doing? What do they know? And how do they know it? And where are they getting this information from? You know? What are they? Because the crows here, and then, can I, and then I was seeing the crows, because I was seeing the Egyptian thing as confirmation, death and magic. Yeah, you must be openly psychic or just very, very deep. Um, you're almost looked at in a way as like a philosopher, psychic, deep person. I don't know why I keep hearing the Coraline song. Um, it's just coming through. You may have always been like that, even as a child, because I'm thinking of Coraline when she was a child. And I feel like the magic part goes without saying because I think you have that intensity, that powerful feeling when people are super connected, especially to their third eye and being able to see deep, you know, it, there's an intensity that sometimes can come with it. And I feel like you naturally have that, which is so badass i feel i think that's so cool the back of the deck you also have illusion i think as well people have projected onto you and then realized that the projection they had on you was wrong and that's another thing where it's like well what are you then what are you doing then what's going on then you know because it could be that you're surrounded because i do see a lot of psychic energy here um and i do think you know you may even have people around you that you know you get people and they don't believe in it or they believe that it's um you know the devil work and stuff like that so you may have people like that that are almost like 
sorcerer you know what i mean like this is bad this is wrong or this isn't real and it's like the closer they come it's like they try and to kind of find your faults and they can't because you're reading them to filth and it's like oh oh <laughs> you know so that's that ponder and then because it's like they're trying to find the illusion it's like the magician and they're trying to find you know the hole in the hat where the rabbit can come through where it's like no I've just magic up um it's that sort of thing that i think some people ponder about the skepticism of it uh which kind of happens to a lot of psychics i do feel like you work in that field um or any sort of field where you work with energy or deep philosophies and stuff i think that you work in that i also see poetry for some of you guys as well like a deep poetry pile three what do people wonder about my pile threes the mystic of divine love love is divine and i am nothing except love love is divine and i am nothing except love pile number three pile number three we also have the mother of believers. I'm spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. Same card came out for pile number, um, pile number two. Love is divine. And I am nothing except love. Interesting. I am spiritually and financially abundant and I provide heaven and earth for myself. I think as well, because especially to do psychic work and stuff like that, you have to be connected to the heart space in order to like understand people and have that empathy for people and i almost feel like you may help people acknowledge parts of themselves that they're running from and hiding from and you're doing it out of love but there's that intensity when people aren't used to tapping into that where you're referencing that they may be insecure of x y and z and you're bringing it up to help them acknowledge it to transmute it whereas they may feel like why are you making me feel these things? And then there's this intensity and it's almost, they don't get it, but it's coming from love. Um, and again, it's that thing where they don't realize it till later on. So you can say something to someone and it'll trigger them in the moment, but then you may find that they come back later on or maybe apologize, or they may just in their own time understand what you meant. Um, and that happens a lot with readings. Even when I do pick a cards, I'll get people and they might not understand something I've said. And then later on, they're like, before I said this, but I got it now. And it, it happens sometimes because for that seed to grow, it, it can be uncomfortable with it coming out of the seed. And I think that wondering will sometimes have people maybe understand you better and your heart space better and the way you're moving. Although sometimes it might trigger, you know, because it's, you know, you are really seeing parts of people that they might not want to acknowledge within themselves. Um, and again, because that, the reason that's coming through is we have two cards referencing love and then we have love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion. So again, it's like I'm, I am moving with purpose. I'm not just doing this to be scary. <laughs> like I'm, I'm moving with purpose here, by the way. Um, yeah, so pal three, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal four, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what do people wonder about you? So you guys chose the clear quartz. I'm going to start with tarot and then we will move on to your oracle card. So let's get in. Um, so pile number four, please spirit guys. What is it that people wonder about my pile number fours? Straight up, I feel like either this usually happens or there could have been a shift in your energy over the last year or two. Um, you may be someone when it comes to how people view you or how people perceive you or what people wonder or whatever. You may find over the next year and over the year that's just gone that you're being drawn to two piles because I feel one is representing a past energy and one is representing a future energy because it, I almost feel like there's a shift. Um, I feel like the pile what's happening to now is a more future energy. The reason I say that is I said in a reading the other day, I can't remember what reading it was, I think it was um, your next blessing video or um, this message will find you when you need it. It was one of those videos and when I tapped in, I felt this clear feeling um, of, how to explain it, like um, your energy was really together kept and you, I could tell you were cleansing your energy and 
you felt very fluid like that and um it almost felt like you'd come out of a void state and it's like creating from that fresh new part you know it's like that spring feel and then you chose the you know the clear quartz here so it's like when I'm tapping in I, I'm I can see like straight away it's almost like I'm seeing a timeline of my bigger cards it's like okay you watch this one or you're going to watch this one because it's like I'm picking up that from you guys and it's like there's a whole different layer that's been revealed to you that you are aligning with and that you are growing into and I think that people are about to or have already started seeing you through that layer um which feels a lot more clear so it's almost like if you've had trouble in the past of people really seeing you you're about to start finding that people really do see you and they get you and I feel like for a little while or it may have already been happening when you watch videos like this from me or any other reader you may be drawn to more than one pile because it's like past energy future energy so we're going to get into it now and see um but you may find that when you're watching these readings there's always one pile that it feels very different and it feels very new and it's because it's a complete shift in your energy i think that you've done a lot of work on yourself cleared um you know old paradigms and ways of looking at life and energy it's like it's cleared it's gone so yeah it's a fresh energy it's really beautiful um so it's not shocked me you chose the clear quartz you may even find that you're very drawn to um you know clear quartz and more white crystals like lemurian quartz and things like that um because it's kind of representing you clear in that it's just what i wanted to reference because i think you're doing a really good you've done a really good job at clearing um but you're continuing to do really well in allowing things to flow i can see you guys like acknowledging emotions and letting them flow and not staying stuck to them and that's really really beautiful so pile number four what do people wonder about my pile number four we have the three of one straight away with the butterflies um pile number four what do people wonder about my pile number fours you feel safe like the, and that's just me acknowledging it here you just feel safe um like i it's like a comfortable feeling uh well, i'll get to the wondering part in a second but i almost feel like people are drawn to you it's almost like i'm being drawn to you because you feel safe and i know you're genuine i know that you mean what you say or i know that you um are not acting out of that wounded feeling like I can, I can feel it from you so I feel safe I don't feel like I'm going to be taken advantage of or you're going to be sly or do anything to me like that you feel safe you feel like a uh, divine mother divine father energy uh which is really lovely by the way it's really really lovely we have the two of swords three of wands king of swords two of swords what do people wonder about my pile number fours what do people wonder about my pile number fours what do people wonder about my pile number fours ace of wands back of the deck you have the nine of wands interesting okay Pile number four, please, for guys. What do people wonder about my pile number fours? I almost feel like I want to sit and listen to you. I feel like people wonder about... It's almost like I want to pay to listen to you. Or I want to sit and listen to you. Like, you know when you were a kid and someone would come in to like, read a story and you'd be like on the floor in class and then someone would be sitting on the chair reading a story? Or you'd get those people that would come in and do plays for the school. I don't know if other people had that. Or um, We used to have a vicar come in and tell us stories from the Bible and we'd all just sit there and he'd have a puppet and he'd like talk with the puppet and we'd all just be listening and it was like the best part of the day because we love the puppet it's that sort of thing like I almost feel like I'm sitting and I want to listen to you and that I'm wondering because it's like you're you're pouring it, it's like you're inspiring me with what you're saying but also I think that you feel like you're full of wisdom do you know what I feel like I feel like you're grandmother willow and I'm Pocahontas like I feel like 
when I'm wondering about you, it's like, what would they do? What would my panel number fours do in this situation? It's almost like I'm looking up to you in the sense of a, um, like a guru or something. And it's like, what would my panel number fours do? Or it's like, if I can't get like hold of you, or, you know, someone that's like, kind of close to you, it's like, what would they do? What would they, what would they think? I've got to ask my panel number fours. It's that feeling. And, and that's why that wondering is coming in. And then it's almost like, I don't know why I keep watching someone and they're like planting flowers or they're going home to their home. And I'm like wondering, what do they get up to? What, you know, what music do they listen to? How, how, it's like a lifestyle thing that people wonder about you. How are they pouring back into themselves? What do they read? What do they watch? How do they keep their energy like that? How do they, um, how have they got that wisdom? What story do they have to tell about how they gained that piece of wisdom? So, for, for example, you could, um, someone could be going through, like, a relationship situation, like a breakup, and it's like, they'll wonder at first, what would my panel before think I need to tell them about this situation? But it's almost like when you give the information and you give that guidance, because it's almost this feeling when you give guidance, you're passionate about it, and you hit the details. So it's like people wondering... I wonder what their story is then. I wonder, you know, if they were in a situation like mine, I wonder what happened. Like, and it's almost like I want to ask you because that's what I meant. Like, I'm almost paying to hear a story. It's like, I want to know how you gained that wisdom and I want to know how you got over that person and I want to know how you used those, um, you know, that sadness and how you turned it into like happiness and peace. Like, I want to know that. And... I, I want to understand it and I want to it's like I want to hear you speak so I'm wondering about that I want to hear you speak I want to hear your take on something it's like I'm creating uh I'm designing my kitchen but I want you to come and see it and join in with me because I wonder what you your input would be you know like the feng shui of it and the color scheme like I wonder what you would think and then it's almost like when you did your kitchen what did you do so there's that wonder of like how did you it's almost like I'm looking at you like you've mastered something on different levels so there's a lot of wondering like what how and how did you feel going through that you know you could be connected to spirit I feel like a lot of you are and you could have gone through an ego death for example or you could have just done deep shadow work and it's like I want to hear your story I want to know how you did that I want to know how you got from x to y to z I want to know how you gained that knowledge I want to know how you lost yourself to find yourself people want to like listen to you and that's where they wonder it's like I wonder their story because I feel like this and I wonder how they got out of it because I feel like you have stories to tell like you have yeah you have stories to tell you have things to say and it's like that's what people wonder about there's a lot of that around you right now I wonder how they did that because like I said there's a switch in your energy and a flip up in your energy so maybe what people are wondering about there then is how do they get from that to that how would they, you know they used to speak about being you know quite insecure and now they're super confident how do they do that how do they change that around how do they get to that I want to hear their story and it's like wondering about it and and that's something that is is really really coming through um really strongly because when you, even when you look at the King of Swords, um, and the King of Swords, he has this elevated consciousness. He understands things deeper and he's able to, you know, really um, see deeper there. But if you look at his uh, little cloak here, it's got the spirals of the healing symbol. So it's like he's healed all of these things and that's how he has that knowledge. So it's almost like people wonder about your story. How are they so compassionate? Where did it stem from? And how did they get like that? Or how, you know, are they so quick to acknowledge or see when people aren't um being truthful with them how do they know that i want to hear their story i want to i want to know the ins and outs of this so i can you know tap into that essence myself and what's funny about that is the essence is you've just gone through life and kind of going on a bit of an inner journey um but that wonder is there from people how did they how did they get to that? Because, you know, I think that you're a bit of a light in the dark for people because I see that with the two of the so two of swords. If you see she's looking down, she's on the top and she's looking down into here and it's like more deeper, darker water. And 
when you think of the two of swords it's like what am i not seeing what can i see so people are almost looking to you like you'll have the key out of the situation and i'm hearing this song by christina aguilera it was on the mulan movie and she sings it, it, it's called loyal brave and true and she sings should i ask myself in the water what a warrior would do tell me underneath my armor am i loyal brave and true so it's almost like look into the water but almost like look into you was like when you were in this situation what did you do or how did they find the courage to get through that or how did they know what to do with this intensity of this or how did they know how to get over this breakup like how did they do that and how did they turn that into something else and it's like wanting to know that because even when you look at this nine of wands if you look up right you know the sun's up here and, and the wands are up here um and he he's kind of got them all up but if you look underneath his cape he's got that red cape but if you look underneath the cape that's where his wisdom is because that one stick that's hidden under the cape um it's the night sky and then you've got the moon so it's like the you know the intuitive side that release inside so it's like people wonder about what's under the cape because you have all of these ones because it's like you're earning your stripes so it's like what's under there what's under there and i think that people wonder about um I see people wanting to be with you on your own, especially like at night or like, I see like partners really wanting pillow talk with you or friends really wanting to get intimate with you in the sense of like emotionally. It's almost like I want to instigate that or I want to pull you aside and get deep. It's almost like I'm looking forward to that sort of chat with you because I think that you inspire like that but there's then that wonder like I wonder what they'd say I really want to get them on their own so I could hear that um or even if you you know guide people you could be like a therapist or something like that I see people wondering like I wonder what they'd think I wonder what they'd have to say about this looking at you with a lot of knowledge but then there's this feeling of you know um people could have seen you on like a sat and with a bunch of people around and it's like I wish I could just speak to them on my own because I feel like I'd be able to get you know some knowledge and it's almost like I've got a notepad and pen writing things down or it's even like I've got a notepad and pen writing questions down and wanting to see what you have to say because it's it's that sort of thing I, I really do see people looking up to you because you just with the wands here and it's like shining that light out and the night sky is behind but it's shining that light out and it's kind of part in the clouds um and it's bringing light there and it's bringing activation there so it's almost like people look to you for that and wonder how you do that for yourself which is really really interesting but I think people wonder about your depths and want to hear those stories about when you you know didn't have anywhere to go or you didn't feel safe or you didn't have the knowledge you have now and what did you do it's it's almost like a motivation thing and, and people really wonder about your story like that uh which is really really interesting I also feel you have a very good way of telling stories I think you have a very good way of piecing things together and explaining things uh because the minute I tapped in I almost felt like you were stood there and a lot of people were listening so you could now or maybe I'm tapping into a future timeline um you know you could speak about these things on social media you could uh be a motivational speaker you could you know when yeah, like Dolores can and she used to sit there in her chair and people would just pay to come and listen to what she had to say um I see you guys really doing something like that and people really um wondering before they even see you what are they going to say what are they going to talk about and having questions of their own that they'd like to see your side of it because it's like i i value because there's that clean feeling of i know you're just saying it as it is you're not adding you know the salt and the sugar and the pepper and everything to it i know you're just giving it to me raw and it, there's that feeling you know there's a rawness to you which is why people like to hear a story because it just feels fluid um you may have gone through a lot and people know that. That's probably why at least that or this shift I'm being shown, like people want to hear your story before and how you found it afterwards. Because even if when you see the flip of, you know, the sun and then the moon under the cape and then you have the flip of the two of swords, it's such a contrast, you know, of the swords down here and the swords above. So it's like, how did they do that? How did they flip that, you know? How do they make it through and how are they the other side? I've watched them in their darkest emotions then come into their lightest emotions and it's like they've balanced it out and they understand both how. Like I'm hearing, what is it I'm not seeing? So it's almost like I want to ask pile four. What is it I'm not seeing, you know? Pile four. Oh, that just jumped out for me. Assurance. We have assurance, which hasn't shocked me because... Again, it's like, 
I'm walking on my path, but I want to hear what pile four have to say because yes, the seed could be growing if you see the plants in her hands. Yes, the seeds could be growing, but I can't see it yet. So I just want a bit of confirmation from my pile. You might be psychics. You might work with spirit in that way. Um, or it could just be like therapy, counseling, helping out people. So it's like, um, I want to know. You could work with children as well. Um, you could be like a guidance counselor to kids and stuff because there's this feeling of, I've done this, but I want to hear what my path falls. I have to say, like, I want to hear what they think about it or if they think I've made progress or um, it's like, I, I trust, I trust you. And with the blue around her as well, there's that healing essence um, as well coming through. Pile number four, because with the clear quartz, you're able to see past the shadow. You're able to see past the darkness and just see it as its truth. So people want to hear what you have to say because it's almost like the clear quartz. You remove their mess around what they're seeing as a bit of clutter. You move it and you help them see it as it is. You know what I mean? It's like you detox the, the negative from it and help people see that in a different light. You have that effect and that's where people wonder, you know, what can I, what will they say? What will they think? A nurturer. I'm not shocked nurturers come out either. Um, I feel like you help people tap into their inner healer. That's kind of how it comes through. You help people tap into their inner healer. Yeah. Like I said, divine mother, divine father, you know, it, it, it's that sort of feeling like you're dependable but you're also very nurturing and it uh i feel like you've balanced a lot of dark and light you know within you shadow and light and you've uh really balanced that out and i think that's why people come to you for guidance or maybe their own journey and then we have independence and that's the thing because you're seen as independent and you're seen as someone that's like kind of like the hermit i'm shocked the hermit hasn't come out it's like, how do I get to that? And, you know, what guidance did they hear when they were on their journey? You know, what music did they listen to when they were on their journey? What what um, advice did they get on their journey? You know, who were their inspirations on their journey? That's a lot of wondering that, I, that I'm picking up as well. Hang on, your card just ran. So it's not shocked me that this card has come up for pretty much every pile. And that is Khadija, the mother of believers. Um, I'm spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. It's like, you know, song, I've got the key. I've got the secret. It's like that. It's people see you as having the key. So they wonder about where you got the key. You know, how you got it. How did you open that many doors with it? Like how... Where did you gain this from? And what do you think about my situation? There's a lot of that wondering. I feel like people really like to hear you talk and just say things and like, oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. I didn't think of it like that. You went through this. Now I feel like I can do it because I was going through the same thing and I've just heard you do it. And that's given me a different idea of doing it in a different way or responding to that emotion in a, in a different way thank you for that so it's like you you're really guiding people in that way i feel like you're here as a guide for people powerful maybe if you have gone through a transition like that maybe that's why you went through it to kind of prepare you for it to pre guide people through it you know whatever it is that you've switched up and shifted i feel like for a lot of you it's either an ego death or um clearing parts of your heart space because i feel like that's where you work from old beliefs that held you back that were connected to your heart space i feel like that's been cleared because i do feel like your channel to source is quite fluid and open anyway i don't think that needed much it's more like believing in yourself i feel for a lot of you that you've gone through activating your own confidence in self believe in your own intuition when things come through believe in your own energy when things shift it's i think that's something that you've Maybe trust in your own advice when it comes out. I know it's not part of the reading. I'm just picking it up. I just think that's something you've been working on. We have the mother of God. I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. Yeah, it's your... And th the way your heart space is lit up, it's, it's that courage that you have. It's like... 
when I say about Moana and how she, you know, she didn't listen to anyone else and she went across the ocean because she listened to her intuition, it's like, you know, that whole movie was like her story. And I bet the people on the island that stayed behind would have a lot of questions for her and wonder about what went on there because they didn't get tickets to the movie. So it's like, they must wonder a lot about that and where she got that drive from and how did the heart of Tefiti find her in the first place? So that in itself, I feel, um, I feel like, that's where people are almost looking to you for inspiration um to go across the water and save their own heart of defeat sort of thing that's where people are wondering you know what do they do what do they do when they were up against this and the back of the deck you have the cosmic egg the divine feminine uh i hold the universe within me i am the force of an ever-expanding love interesting because when I think of the cosmic egg and I think of just eggs in general, like they hold such wisdom that's ready to be rebirthed. Um, you know, there's there's so much kind of growing and building within that egg, you know, and it's it's being like fertilized or whatever. It's it's there's so much building and there's so much hope building from it as well. And it's I, I feel like people then wonder about all of that. It's almost like you you walk around handing out eggs, you know, like the Easter bunny handing out eggs of knowledge and wisdom and it's like i wonder what pan of four think and you're like here's an egg you know and it's just that wisdom that grows um but yeah i think that you know you're you're well respected in your opinion because i feel like people know you've been through things and maybe watched you go from different polarities which is really really beautiful i feel like people really see you because i feel like people really want to hear you know how you got that from there to there and how you did that and that um which is really really lovely um really lovely so yeah part four that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed the reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching